why in the world would anybody want to work on pancreatic cancer? There were no advances, frankly, until Dan Von Hoff. Dr. Von Hoff is a visionary and a pioneer in everything he does. He's always ahead of the curve. Dan has always been one of the most remarkably sought after scientists and physicians. Well, of course, he's known for his pancreatic cancer research work because at the time that he got into it, which was later in his career, no one wanted to touch that disease. It was too hard. It was so difficult, people thought they could never be successful. Only about 2% of the patients survived. As a result of his work, now it's up to 12%. It's going to be higher, of course, as he continues to work on this disease. Dan had started one of the first phase one programs in the country. This idea of bringing new therapies to patients, helping develop those both with the National Cancer Institute as well as with pharmaceutical and biotech companies. We worked on many new agents that improved uh, survival for patients with prostate cancer, breast cancer, non-small cell lung cancer and others. So it's really the area of drug development that we've been able to work in the most. Dan has probably done over a thousand new drugs over the course of his career. More than a hundred of those have received FDA approvals and it's not hard to do the math to know that the thousands of patients he helped get on clinical trials led to millions of patients being treated through the years with therapies that he touched. The rumor was that there wasn't one cancer therapeutic that didn't pass his scrutiny. Clinical trial was important, uh, developing the new therapy was important, but Dan always took us back to the patient that was being treated and trying to do best for that patient, which ended up helping everyone. In the office next to me for the last 15 years, you walk in and the sign you see is, have you cured the patient today? His focus isn't a program, his focus isn't a scientific component, it's what do we do for the patient sitting in front of us today? He really inspired people to think about the importance of cancer biology and how the knowledge of that biology will be able to help develop appropriate therapeutics for cancer patients. The era of being able to use genomics, like Jeff Trent has taught us, say which ones can you help the most? That's been incredibly exciting. We're incredibly honored to have Dan, and we know that that will help us attract the best and the brightest physician investigator to TGen to help patients in the future. Well, I'm very excited about the future. Um, uh, the accomplishments have really been because I've been surrounded by terrific people uh, pushing me, and holding me up, including my uh, lovely wife. The exciting part of what we do is not to make a discovery in science, it's making a difference in someone's life. He's given me life. He saved my life. He's given me the opportunity to watch my children grow up. It's given me the opportunity to see grandchildren be born. I always would say, and certainly know based on many years of experience, that you gotta live to get the next breakthrough.